explain. All right, so basically we're, I just gotta say, I wanna preface every scene with, we are on like two hours of sleep, crazy night, middle oh, tour, and we just pulled up, we're driving to Cincinnati, Toby Keith's van is right here. Here's the potential that this van is actually lost from a tour that happened seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to get to a venue. Toby, 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 Oh, Toby, Toby. play us that one song that has four chords in the key of G. That's the one I've always said, one of our last words. and like all the screaming has died down. I just want to be lying in a huddle fast going, it was worth it for the joke. <laughs> oh, and then the gunshots go off. Colin, was it worth it for the joke? Um, it depends on how funny it is. Uh, wasn't that funny. Might, then, might never are. What would be a hilarious joke that would be worth dying for? It would, it would probably be, I, I, all right, so here's the situation. I'm in the Goodyear blimp, all right? Uh, I'm taking it over pirate style. I'm flying <laughs> the thing. I'm rigged it with explosives, right? And then last second, I like strap on my parachute, hit the explosives, blimp explodes, people are dying, screaming. I bring someone with, with, with me who's like, oh my god, it's going to blow. And then I just yell, that's what she said. <laughs> People die and the stadium's ruined and I'm probably dying too because you can't base jump from that shot. But then you say it was worth it. And then, and then at the end I'm in the huddle and we can come back to that where it's worth it as a joke. It was worth it for the joke. I would say it's always worth it for, for the joke. Your response? It is always worth it for the joke. Chris? No. No. Oh, it's worth it. Uh, in that case, I'd say that that's what she said joke is always worth it. <laughs> okay. I thought that was funny, dude. I, what does everybody else think? <laughs> Jared, give me a scenario where a joke would be worth dying for. Alright. So you're in a country club. Which one? The most prestigious one. Surrounded by old people. And they're eating boiled goose. <laughs> obviously. You fill the goose with dynamite. Call the cops. Cops show up. So if you goose here, stuff with dynamite. It's gonna explode. The joke is. Less of a joke and more of like an act of terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's one of those multiple murders jokes. You know? Yeah, that's the only kind I know. Yeah, like they, like they prosecute people for those kinds of jokes. <laughs> it's one of those you had to be there. Jokes, yeah, right? one of you. One of those you had to be there when the Hindenburg exploded jokes. The longest and worst yeah. video vlog ever. This is this is what they put me through. These guys look. Oh yeah, edit the video. It doesn't matter. And they shoot like 45 minutes worth of footage. I'm like, Dustin, we need it to be under five minutes. <laughs> yeah, great. So it's just like a bunch of jump cuts of people going up, ten. So it's a little before noon, uh, we have a day off which is always awesome, uh, I just woke up because I wanted to capture this awesome moment, well, I usually on my day off just kind of like mess around, but these cool guys, guess what they're doing on their day off, yeah. Tim from House of Heroes, thank you Tim, that Tim's dad, we had a day off and Tim's dad let us so kindly borrow his bike and we're about to ride 40 to 50 miles together <laughs> <laughs> to go get his old bike from Dan Gartley from Sanctus Rio. Now how did you decide he was going to uh, drive the first leg to go get the second bike? Paper scissors raw. <laughs>